What's up everybody, it's Chuflaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing an updated version of my top three builds in the yard. Not prototypes, but top three builds. That includes combo of abilities and also which prototype I think uses those abilities to its finest and best. But let's head right into the third one as of now. This one has grown on me so much, literally so much. Rackzilla and one in one on ones, twos on twos, and even threes on threes is just unstoppable. And one on ones is just the best build by far. But the thing is, that's only on one on ones. I think it's like the second or third when it comes to twos v twos or three v threes. Because in one on ones, you don't even have to use your Rackzilla. Throw him at wide receiver one, put abilities on him, deep out of elite, deep in elite. I don't have it unlocked yet. But if you put that in on him, just unstoppable on the post routes, the out routes, anything you need. It's just unstoppable. I, I think I love. I think I love using this on one on ones. If I'm using one, if I'm doing a one v one, like for, like if I'm trying to win, like constantly, like I do in my streams, this is the wide receiver I'm going for. Rackzilla is just OP. I normally would pick my other build that I'm gonna be showcasing at number one, but Rackzilla in one v ones is literally the best build by far. It's literally ridiculous. It's great on defense too. You put Lurker on it, six three. You could even throw this build at other positions, too. It could literally play every position. If you want it to play quarterback, you can do that. You just got to move out deep out elite and put on pocket dead eye. So you can use Ragzilla at quarterback. You can use any build at quarterback. Just put pocket dead eye on him. Take off one of the abilities. Pocket dead eye will save you. It can only throw 40 yards, but it still is clutch. I still use it. It's still really good. So one thing you'll notice with me is that a lot of my builds are offense. And I think a lot of people agree with it, except for like the lock and the jacked up. But that's like in the number four and five spot for me. But Zeus has been growing on me. Not only am I seeing more people in the community using it, not only am I seeing more people in random games using it, I am using it and it is unstoppable. I have to fight with my teammates to use this build. I love using the Zeus. It is literally just so fun. His speed is so slept on. I mean, four is a lot of skill points, but he is just so good. For his height, 6'5", and that speed he has is literally just ridiculous. Lurker is OP, and I've been literally put on with the deep out of Lee. It is so good. People have literally mossed me, and not won games. I don't really lose, and I'm just kidding. But people have mossed me on deep out of Lee and took it to the house. Because it just literally will just push the guy to the ground with the animation of the spec catch. He is also the only build that gets spec catch. He gets two skill points towards it. I'm hoping they add something like another build that has spec catch or something. I thought you'd think that the you can't guard me would have it, but it doesn't. But anyways, the two abilities I have on Zeus are Lurker. The 6-5 plus Lurker is literally unstoppable. Unstoppable. And then the deep out elite is which a must. It's a must on this build. You can't use this build without deep out elite, but first you got, you do got to level him up to get it. So I suggest you level him up, throw lurker on him, throw deep out elite. Everybody should have lurker and enforcer. So these are the two best abilities I think you should throw on Zeus. Don't sleep on it just because it's a tight end like I did. Don't wait on it. I'm telling you, this is the best build in the game. You just got to level it up. Give it time. Give it time. Wait till you get the four speed. You'll see the speed difference from zero to four. I'm telling you, just try the Zeus. You have to. Let's head on to the number one build still in the yard. I don't know what's going to have to happen in Madden for the fast cat to get dethroned. There's like almost nothing that can happen. The fast cat is still the best build in the game. I literally will dominate with this build. The speed is just ridiculous. It's just crazy how good this guy is. He the only the, literally the only thing that sucks about him is the 511. The, that's the only thing that sucks about him. Literally the only thing that sucks about him. I play my fast cat at quarterback. As you can see, I have pocket dead eye here and jukebox. But I'm going to show you what you could switch pocket dead eye on because I know a lot of you guys don't like to run fast cat at quarterback. I do because if you can't throw inside the pocket, you scramble out and you're basically a running back at that point. So that's why I think it's way better than trust. You should not be using trust, especially the way trust has been fumbling. Fast cat with pocket dead eye is the best quarterback by far within the yard. But let's head into the abilities if you want to play him at something else than quarterback. You could switch out Acrobat, and I suggest putting on 
right here enforcer enforcer is a good one jukebox is always needed on him i think because the speed he has you could switch out enforcer with another one like acrobat like the, this ability doesn't really matter for him you could use one of the one of the passing i mean one of the catching but you're not gonna really do that with a fast cat running back so i suggest just do acrobat or enforcer down here you could do lurker as well but 511 you're not i mean it could save you a little bit but i don't think you're gonna get the best of what lurker could be but i use the only reason why i use uh, pocket daddy on him is because it turns him basically into a better trust that doesn't fumble and he has way better moves and is faster in the open field than trust so these have been my top three builds within Madden right now. I like to update this every two like two weeks or whatever because I think players start to learn new builds and new abilities. Like in my first ever ranking, Zeus was not even in the top five. I don't even think it was in the top seven when I was doing like the top ten builds or ranking the builds. That's why I think Zeus has been slept on. I think other people are slept on. I'm trying to get everybody woke on the Zeus. You guys have to try it. And most of you guys should already know that Fast Cat is probably top one in the game. But anyways, this has been True Flock. I hope you guys enjoyed this ranking. I'll see you guys in the next one.